तो जय हिंद एवरी वन दिस इज डॉक्टर अवधेश गुप्ता प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द क्वेरीज एंड द कंसेप्ट रिलेटेड टू रिलेशन एल्जब्रा ऑफ डी बी एम एस सो लेट स्टार्ट सो वट इज रिलेशन एल्जब्रा वी हैव सीन दैट इन क्वेरी ऑप्टिमाइजेशन वी हैव टू राइट क्वेरी इन एस क्यूएल फॉर्म एंड देन the query optimizer convert the sql query into relational algebraic query just to make it faster to make it uh, as uh, that it take minimum uh, time for execution so relational algebra is a procedural query language and it gives a step by step process it gives step by step process to obtain the result of the query and it uses operator to perform the query okay so if we talk about the relational algebraic operations uh relational algebraic query comes next so first we have to understand what are the different types of relation op 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 operations so there are various types of relation operations select operations projection operation union operation set intersection set intersection set a difference cartesian product and a rename operations so these are seven operations are very important to understand the uh, various uh, a uh, relation algebraic query so first we will discuss about select project union intersection difference cartesian product and rename operations so the first operation is a select operation basically this is select operation identify or extract the related tuples the related record from a given database the database is also called the relation so uh, this is a symbol for select operation sigma and the query the notation is sigma p r where r is the relation r is said to be a database table and p is the predicate or p is a propositional logic the proposition logic formula which may be used connection like and or not and other operation other clauses also so this is the basic operation of select query okay so this is a table this is a relation this table name is loan and the loan attributes are branch name loan number and amount okay you have to identify the branch name uh, who have taken loan from peridide branch name so you need to extract that these two rows from the given relation or given entity that who have taken load loan from the branch name peridide so what is the query for is this this select branch name is equals to peridide from the relation it means the loan so the query is row p r the row sigma sigma is the selection p is the propositional logic and r is the relation that is loan then the output will be peridide the output will be peridide low number l15 l16 and the amount is 1500 and 1300 so this is the query so in the same way we can understand <coughs> select operation one more example is there this is a relation a b c d there are four attributes are there and you need to identify uh, this is this is some complex operation for the select query in this query you have to identify two uh, two uh, proposition logic like for example where a is equals to b and d should be greater than 5 you need to extract the record where a is equals to b and d is greater than 5 so you need to write the query select it means sigma a is equals to b a is equals to b and this is the notation of and operator so this is the and this is or so you can uh, see that in discrete mathematics this is the operator for and operator and d should be greater than 5 from the given relation the relation is r so this is a relational algebraic query you can see here also this is the relational algebraic query and this gives the result from this from this relation that is uh, where a and b are equals a and b are equals 
एंड डी शुड बी ग्रेटर देन फाइव इन दिस डी इज ग्रेटर देन फाइव इन दिस डी इज ग्रेटर बस दिस डी इज नॉट ग्रेटर देन फाइव सो इट विल एक्सट्रेक्ट ओनली टू रिकॉर्ड दैट इज एल्फा एल्फा वन सेवन दिस इज एंड बीटा बीटा ट्वेंटी थ्री टेन बीटा बीटा ट्वेंटी थ्री टेन सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड द सेलेक्ट क्वारी नाउ कम्स ऑन प्रोजेक्शन सो दिस इज प्रोजेक्ट ऑपरेटर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सेलेक्ट एंड प्रोजेक्ट इज दैट सेलेक्ट आइडेंटिफाई और एक्सट्रैक्ट द रिकॉर्ड फ्रॉम द गिवन टेबल इन द ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ इट्स टपल्स इट्स रिकॉर्ड्स वाइल प्रोजेक्ट ऑपरेशन आइडेंटिफाई और एक्सट्रैक्ट द कॉलम नेम्स ओके so it extract the column name when you have to identify that you need to show or you need to extract only particular columns then you need to apply projection the symbol of projection is pi this is the symbol of projection so you need to identify uh, selected records in this way project these are the column name a1 a2 and so on an from the given relation so a1 a2 and an are the column names okay like for example <coughs> this is the relation r where a b c three columns are there you need to identify the column a and column c only so you need to apply projection on column a and column c from the relation r so this is the query for projection you can see here also projection on a and c from the relation r so a and c from the relation r it gives the relation a alpha 1 alpha 1 beta 1 beta 2 alpha 1 alpha 1 beta 1 beta, beta 2 just because of this alpha 1 alpha 1 is a repetitive or duplicate record so it illuminate the record and show alpha 1 beta 1 and beta 2 only okay next union operation a uh, union operation all of you know that in discrete mathematics or another subject union combines the record of uh, uh, left set and the right set so if we are having we are having two different tables the one table is like for example one table is is borrow another table is depositor another table is depositor so uh in borrow and in depositor what are their uh, column names the column names can be union like for example both uh, both relation has the common attribute name customer name this is the condition listen keep in mind that in union you have to uh, you have at least one this one uh, the common attribute name customer name from borrower and customer name from depositor and you need to apply union operator okay so what will it show it show the combined the customer name from the borrower relation and the customer name from the depositor relation also keep in mind that it do not show the duplicate records okay if any record comes two times it eliminate it and it show only one time okay so this is the union operation this is intersection intersection the same thing intersection show extract the uh, common records among or between the tables projection on customer name borrow intersection projection on customer name depositor so it will extract only the customer name whose customer name are available are present in borrow table and deposit table the common name will display by using is this uh, intersection let's take an, an example uh, this is the relation r this is and this is the relation s okay you need to identify r intersection s and r union s for example first we have to identify r union s so what it, it will show a and b are the two columns it will show alpha 1 alpha 2 beta 1 and beta 3 this is the relation of r union s and if you show r intersection s so it will show a and b what it will show intersection it it means the common alpha 2 alpha 2 is the common alpha 2 another no one is common so this is the output of intersection this is the output of intersection and this is the output of union so all of you know that what is uh, what union does 
and what intersection does okay so these are very simple mathematical logics now set difference difference the minus it means for what uh, if you are having two uh, two tables okay table 1 and table 2 you need to minus table 2 from the table 1 you can do it but what will be the result let's say for example table 1 let's take table 1 has 10 records okay and table 2 has let's say for example 7 records okay out of which 3 records are common 3 records are common and you have to uh, identify table 1 table 1 minus table 2 so what will it gives it minus the common records the records which are common in table 1 and table 2 it will subtract and what it will show it will show rest of the table 1 column rest of the table 1 column so 7 records 7 records and if you are doing table 2 minus table 1 then the common record will be deleted will be minus will be subtracted and the output is 7 minus 3 it means 4 records so this is the minus so this is the notation of r minus s and you can do it projection on customer name from borrow minus projection on customer name from depositor let's take an example this is the example for subtraction or you can say set a difference operator the relation r and s this is r this is s and you need to identify r minus s so simply what you will do r minus s alpha 1 alpha 1 no there is no alpha 1 percent so alpha 1 is the output sorry next alpha 2 alpha 2 is there so it will subtract it will removed beta 1 no beta 1 is not there beta 1 is there so the final output is alpha 1 beta 1 but alpha 2 will be removed just because of table s also has the alert alpha 2 these two records have common records of alpha 2 so it will subtract or it will be removed okay the next is cartesian product this is very important cartesian product is simply do multiplication it is a simple multiplication but let's take uh, let's take another uh, let's take one important term in cartesian product it is represented by multiplication cross symbol okay you have two different entities e and d entities or you can say relation or you can say database tables e and d are the two tables suppose e have e has six records and d has nine records for example so what will be the output simple multiplication so 6 9 ja, 54 so it will show 54 records okay so if you if uh, there is an interview question that uh, how many tuples will be there if uh, we have to multiply two different tables and table 1 has 6 record and table 2 has 9 record the simple answer is 6 multiply 9 is equal to 54 so it will show the 54 records okay let's take an example this is a table employee okay there are three different columns this is the table department there are two different columns okay so there are three attributes and there are two attributes and there are three records there is also three records and if you are doing employee multiply department employee multiplied by department or you can say employee cartesian product with the department so what will it show one smith a a marketing one smith a then a marketing again one smith a b sales one smith a b sales then one smith a c legal one smith a c legal so it means each and every tuple will combine uh, with the department tuples so it will show the multiplication of uh, uh, records available in employee table multiplied by the records available in department table okay so this is how 
you can see that uh, there are total nine records are there three there is a nine those nine records are there and a table employee and a table department has been cartesian product okay so these are the basic operations next another example cartesian product this is the relation r this is the relation s and you have to identify the relation s r cartesian product with relation s okay r cross s so what will be show 2 and there is 4 2 4 ja 8 yani ke total 8 records in cartesian product total 8 record how alpha 1 alpha 10 a alpha 1 alpha 10 a alpha 1 beta 10 a alpha 1 beta 10 a alpha 1 beta 20 b alpha 1 beta 20 b alpha 1 gamma 10 b alpha 1 gamma 10 b so this is how this one record will be combined with these four records again this also combined with these four records so it means total eight records will be there okay so this is the case of cartesian product another example with cartesian product you can see here that uh, this is with some clause if we apply some clause also with the cartesian product so what type of clause is there we have to apply the clause that a is equals to b it means you need to apply r multiplied by s with the clause where a is equals to b this is the clause it means a and b should be equal but then you need to apply uh, a r into s okay so r and s already you have done here this is r cross s but you need to identify or you need to extract the record where a is equals to b so what is a is equals to b a is equals to b in this case a is equal to sorry a is equals to c not b is a is equals to c so a is equals to c so alpha alpha other beta beta this beta beta the so total three records this alpha alpha beta beta and beta beta so this is the final output so we can see here that uh, uh, along with uh, these various relational operations we can apply clauses also okay rename operation this is the last operation rename operation this is very simple just to rename the given entity name what is the entity name is old and you have to identify the new name of this entity let's say for example we can use the rename operator to rename the student relation into student 1 so row row is the symbol to rename row student one comma student so this is how you can do a rename operation okay next is division operation this is also important just because of uh, uh, some mathematical operations are there so you need to identify the what division does division r divided by s s divides the relation r okay let's uh, check with with an example this is the relation r it has multiple tuples and two attributes you have to divide with s s is only one column with two uh, with two tuples okay so when you dividing this relation r by relation s r divided by s so what it comes b has only two tuples one two so where one two this is one this is two one 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 two you need to identify where is one and where is two now if you are uh, dividing by one and two one and two so it should be there that in a the common cell or common value is should be there so what is there alpha alpha and you are dividing 1 2 so alpha will be the answer okay just because of this alpha divided by 1 and 2 both okay this one beta but is there any other value that is uh, divided to, uh, to yes this is this and this 1 beta 2 beta so this beta is also came beta okay another one gamma so gamma is there no gamma is not there so this will not one delta delta with two no so this is not one 
summation no this is not so only two tuples will be there r divided by s alpha and beta only two tuples are there okay another division example with some complex exam uh, some complexity like for example this is the relation r r has 1 2 3 4 5 uh, attributes with multiple tuples and s has two attribute in previous example you have to divide only one attribute in this example you have to divide with the two attribute d and e d and e so what will you see that a1 b1 a1 a1 b1 a1 a1 b1 b1 so what you can see that if any uh, attribute is divided by a1 then it should be divided by b1 also the same so a1 alpha a alpha b1 b1 alpha a gamma so no this is not done b1 no so this is not done this will not the output of this r divided by s another alpha 1 a1 a1 alpha a gamma b1 b1 alpha a gamma yes a1 b1 alpha a gamma a1 b1 alpha a gamma so this is the output alpha a and gamma okay any a1 a1 b1 b1 yes this one a1 and b1 divide the same tuples or same uh, attributes gamma a gamma gamma a gamma okay so you can see here also these are the output alpha a gamma and gamma a gamma okay assignment operator in other programming languages the you can see that assignment operator is just equals to sign uh, so that the right hand side uh, value will be assigned to left hand side but in uh, dbms this is the assignment operator okay so uh, for example, assignment operator can be used just to assign the value of right hand side to left hand side variable. For example, there is a complex query or there is a long query and you have to break the query into its sub part. So, first of all, for example, there is a large query. So, a part of query can be stored into a temporary variable. Second part of query can be stored into a third, second variable like that. For example, this pi r minus s is stored in temp1 pi r minus 1 temp1 is again used okay so we can uh, avoid uh, complexity by using uh, to uh, store in temp just because of we have to write again pi r minus s r here here also so we have what we did what we did this particular query can be stored into temp1 and we can use temp1 here also okay into s minus pi r minus s this one and then result is equal to temp1 minus temp2 this is also done okay so this is how you can do the assignment operator let's take some examples of relation algebraic query so we have one two three four five six six different entities name are there entities are there with some attribute name okay you need to identify some relation algebraic query for uh, some uh, queries. Okay, let's see. For example, find all loans over one two double zero. Find all loans over one two double zero. Loan amount. Okay. So, you need to identify the extract the query from this particular schema, this particular entity attributes. Find the loan number whose amount is greater than 1200. Okay. So, select or projection. Just because of amount is greater than 1200, so select amount is greater than from the relation loan this will be the answer you can see here also this amount 
is greater than 1200 from the loan table. Okay. In the similar way, if you have to identify, find the loan number for each loan of an amount greater than 1200. Find the loan number. It means you have to identify the loan number. So, what will be the answer? Projection on loan number. Just because of it gives that you need to identify only the loan number, not all records, not all attributes. It concentrate on loan number only. So, you have to apply projection on loan number and select amount is greater than 1200 from loan. This, this query will be same. Okay. Another query, find the name of all customers who have a loan, an account or both. And in this, find the name of all customer who have a loan and an, an account at bank. So, what will be the difference between these two query? The difference is that in this query, uh, it asks the loan, account or both. And in this query, loan and account. It means there is a condition. There is a condition that you have to apply and. It means you have to apply intersection and in this you have to apply union. This is the basic difference. Okay. Just because ki this query asks the loan and account or both. And this query asks the loan and account. And it means both should be there. Both should be there. It means you have to identify the intersection. Just because of this also available in this and this also. Okay. So, the Projection of customer name from borrower table, union, projection on customer name from depositor table in this, projection of customer name from borrower table, intersection projection of customer name from depositor table. Okay. Find the name of all customers who have a loan at Peridge branch. Name of all customer. It means you have to apply projection. Projection. See here. Projection on customer name. Okay. Who have a loan at the Peridge branch? So it means select branch name is equal to Peridge. Okay. But what happened there? Happened there that uh, if I have taken the loan, it means the loan account is there. You have to identify the customer name. So, customer table can be used. Okay. So, you need to identify the join operation or you need to identify, you need to collaborate more than one table for this query. Okay. That's why the customer name, branch name is equal to Paridge and Select borrower dot loan minus uh, borrower dot loan number is equals to loan number dot uh, loan dot loan number, loan number from the borrower table and loan number from the loan table. Borrower Cartesian product with a loan. So it, this is very simple, but you need to understand what the query it asks. Okay, let's take another example. Find the name of all customer who have a loan at the Paridge brand, but do not have an account at any branch of the bank. It means it do not have any account. It asks that loan number, loan number at borrower and loan, but it has, it asks do not have an account. So, you need to just subtract it. Okay. So, projection of customer name from Paridge and borrow lane this one, this one, but do not have an account. So, you need to subtract projection of customer name or depositor. If any customer has any account, so he, have, he has de deposited some amount into his bank. So, you need to identify the minus projection on customer name from depositor. One more thing is that uh, this should be common, the customer name and the customer name. Otherwise, this query will not work. So, this should be common customer name and customer name. Okay. Find the name of all customer who have a loan at the Paridge branch. Customer name, branch is Paridge. The same query. And the query 2, loan number is equal to borrower name. 
ब्रांच नेम इज को पैरिज लोन मल्टीप्लाई क्रॉस यू कैन राइट दिस क्वेरी दिस इन दिस वे ऑल्सो रीनेम ऑपरेशन लेट से फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ देर इज एनी क्वेरी एंड वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई वी हैव टू शो द सेकेंड नेम ऑफ या अनदर नेम फॉर द गिवेन टेबल सो रीनेम अकाउंट रिलेशन एज डी so you have to identify the d as the account uh, this ac account as a d so it will show uh, in in answer in the final resultant answer not account but it will show the d d will be the uh, entity name so now these basic operations has been finished now concentrate on join operations join operation also the very important part in relational algebraic query or in sql so we have uh, we will learn about join operations in relational algebra so join operator a join operator combines the related tuples from the different relations and if and uh, if only join condition is satisfied and it is uh, denoted by this projection symbol sorry this uh, join symbol okay so we will learn Uh, the more concept about this join operation in later videos so now thank you